Hey everybody, welcome back to Autobox Plays, the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. In last episode, we actually had a really, really good run as Judas. And we killed Satan, and we also have a 10 streak, so that's pretty freaking nice. Um, so what I think we should do is... I actually have no idea. We have Eve, Eden, and Lilith. Mm, let's do a our first Lilith run. Lilith is actually interesting because she has a blindfold, and yeah, it's, the C for this run is L K W B Z three two P. All right. So she has Incubus and starts with Box of Friends, and also can be in Conception. So she can actually fire from her own face, but um, Incubus is a really, really good familiar. So as long as we don't completely shit the bed, then we should be fine. Lilith um, can be a little tricky to actually play because she obviously can't fire from her own face. So, so you gotta be a little mindful as to where you're positioning your incubus so that you actually can land the shots and there we go cool we got a set of bombs so let's place the bomb right here and get that tinted rock we got a key and a spirit heart that's actually very very nice okay all right um tips of playing for lilith i actually really don't have any mostly because um i didn't actually play too much of lilith lilith um, when Afterbirth first came out. I mean, I did the whole, like, one box of friends only had two a two-room charge. That was cool. Okay. <laughs> that was a little dicey, but we managed to get out of there. But yeah. Um, I like Lilith as a character, mostly because she provides some variety to the character, like, to the Isaac character list, and Petrified Poot. Pretty good trinket. We should probably get a coin out of that. Nah. That's fine. But we are on the burning basements, and we are actually doing pretty stellar. I do think we want to put a bomb here, because that is a good amount of gold. A good amount of you know, gold. Coins, yeah. A dime drop is very, very nice. Got us up to 14 cents. So, we might actually want to go to the shop. And... Okay, cool. I'm not going to take the pill right now because the potential for it to be bad is there. We'll probably take it at the end of the floor. I'm trying to be a little more mindful as to when I do take pills. Because pills, more often than not, end up neutral or bad. More often bad. Like, they give you tears down, health down, bad trip, that sort of deal. Um... Sometimes even the pills that you would think are inherently bad come up, like, are, are considered good. Like, you can get an are you a wizard pill. I'm like, oh, that doesn't help me whatsoever. Mom's eye. This is fine, I guess. But I am not particularly blown away by Mom's eye. I don't even know if it actually synergizes with Lilith because of the fact that she's blindfolded. So, all in all, that's kind of a bust. So, but it's not the end of the world. It does put us one third of the way to the mom transformation, and I guess that's the most shining review that I could possibly ever give to uh, Mom's Eye in Lilith, Lilith's case. And, all right, so we are gonna go fight our boss, and our boss is the Haunt. I don't feel too bad about popping Box of Friends right now because the Haunt is kind of a huge dick, and. His little ghost buddies are also little dicks as well. Yeah, they're, um, they're phallic in nature. Alright. So let's see if we can actually get... Haunts to... Okay. Is this the one where he only spawns spiders? Because if it is, then we're actually going to be doing pretty well against him. Yeah, I don't foresee us taking damage. Oh, never mind. I take that back. I don't foresee us taking any more damage, is what I should say. Oh, close. <laughs> okay, so we got stem cells, and... You know what, I think, all things considered, we should probably just go down to the next floor. Even though... Yeah, health down. 
Like, so, we basically... Um... Didn't really gain anything off of that floor, so that kind of sucks. Alright, so I do want to check out the curse room because of our extra spirit hearts that we have lying around. So... Bye. Cool. And also gives us a box of friends charge, so that's pretty good, too. Um, I don't want to do that right now. If we actually end up with anything good on this run, maybe. But for right now, no real gain in doing so. Okay, that fucking was terrible. Eh. I don't want to. I do want to go take a look at that. But I do think it's important for us to actually take a look at our item room before we even look at the two key room. It could be good, but it also could be very, very bad. And I th feel like we get more of a benefit from taking a look at the item room first. So let's do that. And 10 bombs. Mm, not the most amazing item we could have gotten, but it does give us some potential to get other consumables and that sort of deal. Uh, for example, like this. Eh, I don't think we're actually going to be able to get a secret room, like at least check for a secret room using this. So I'm just going to place the bomb right there and take a look at what we got. The last pill we got screwed us, so I'm not going to take this until later. If at all. I'm going to place that really quickly right there. Maybe we can get that. And we did. Alright. Well. Let's try to take a look at the shop. Go up here. Take out the little dips. Luckily we do still have petrified poop. So consumable gains should be pretty good. Um, I do want to look at the rest of the floor. So we can take a look at the shop. We can find it, and we might also find some additional spirit hearts, well, some tinted rocks lying around. So, I think it's worth the trouble of actually looking around. I mean, all things considered, even though this the run is still very, very early, so I don't... F I think we're in a relatively okay position. We're not as good as we could be, but we're not as terrible as we could be, is what I'm trying to get at. Alright, stop running away, you fucking... Dick. Should be a little more mindful as to why, like, how much I swear. I mean, probably the people who would have, like, the demographic I would might appeal to are, like, males, eh, adolescents to early adults. That sort of deal. If, uh, if at all. But I should probably try not to swear and humbling bundle. Amazing. Yeah, we've been kind of we donated eight cents on our last last run, so it doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to get into our double key room, which is slightly disappointing. But maybe we can actually find a key in our item in our secret room if I can actually find where it is. I have an idea of where it could be. If it's down across, then that'd be nice. But it's not. So let's just blow this up right now. We don't have any money to play, so don't worry too much about that. And Humbling Bundle is nice for that very reason. We get a lot of... Like, it doubles the drops, basically. Turns everything into a double. If I really wanted to potentially get into that double key room, I would probably consider going against... Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was, what, was I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Daniel... You need to chill. You need to calm down. Calm down. You're going too fast and furious for right now. You need to slow down and relax. All these macro ideas that you're trying to go over, not the most important thing you should be worried about. You should be worried about like the simple things, the fundamentals of Isaac, which are dodging. Just dodge. And don't walk into the enemies like, you dummy. Okay. Well, hopefully we get a deal with the devil. I don't necessarily think we deserve it, but we did, and we got magic mush. Yay! Okay, so I think we probably want to get Gimpy. Just Gimpy. Yeah. And a Tears Up? Sweet. I do think we should probably go back and get... You know what? No. No, we probably shouldn't. If Since we actually got Magic Mush, I do feel a little better about our boss rush prospects. So we should keep it in mind and just continue on with the floor. 
the fact that we got an item room right next to us is very, very helpful. The Parasite is an interesting item. The potential for us to get some sort of like cool synergy with other tier effects and that sort of deal is there. So I wouldn't feel too bad about picking it up. And Gimpy is already paying out, so that's very nice. The f um, bad bit of damage, but Gimpy makes it so that we don't have to feel too bad about being really bad at dodging. Okay. So... Let us kill this guy. We can get him before he goes down, and we did not. Okay, let's dodge around. Let's kill the human popcorn for... Hey, okay, come on, pop up. Slowing us down, bud. Ow. Let us mosey our way on over. Gotta get that, and... Probably do want to get this. We have, dis we have... I'm an idiot, so why did I use that one? Okay. Well, at least we got the payout back from Humbling Bundle, because that was a pretty bad use of our bombs. Uh, again, I'm trying to go fast, so that means I'm missing a lot of the normal things that I would normally be able to see. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. And don't take that dumb bit of damage, you dingo. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. You don't need- you gotta chill, bud. Just chill. Just relax. Okay. But, yeah. Lil Lilith is an interesting character, that's for sure. Okay, we will go into our shop, and nothing too amazing in here. Don't really want to pick up anything else. Maybe just finish shooting the fire. Uh, Yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, we managed to get out of the hell that was the beginning of this room. And yeah, these are these silkworms can be kind of tanky if you have base damage. But the fact that we got magic mush and that sort of deal leaves us in a pretty good position. Oh, don't get hit. So let's see, we are on caves one, and we're about 11 minutes into the run. That's pretty okay. And at the rate that we're going, we should be able to make it to boss rush. We should be able to. I say that's with that little bit, little caveat on there. Let's use this right now. And we didn't get a crawl space, but that's yeah, fine. Sweet. We will use Box of Friends against the Frail. You should be going down pretty quickly. So, okay, and it should not get hit there, so that's cool. And well, we did get hit there. Ugh, we got hit there. Shit. Um, let's not pick that up yet. Shit, that's bad, potentially at least. It's a little annoying that we don't have the box of friends charge for Krampus. And let's not take any more damage against him. We will use bombs to pick this up, and we'll pick up Head of Karampus, but I do want to stay with Box of Friends. The The benefit of getting double familiars, thus increasing our damage, well, doubling our DPS, is too good. I do think we probably should pick up Experimental Treatment, even though it might end up fucking us over, and it looks like it did. Um, I had to go for it. And... It also, like Mom's Eye, even though it's kind of worthless to us right now, it does give us one third of the way towards getting the tra the Spun transformation and the Mom's transformation. So, it should be fine. I would have liked to actually have gotten like more beneficial stats, like more tears, more damage, but say la vie. Our range seems to be okay, at least, all things considered. But I am doubting our boss brush prospects. Hey. Don't get hit. Okay. One makes you smaller. That's probably actually good for us. I will blow you up because you're kind of useless. Balls of steel, sweet. The extra health is very nice. And, oh gosh. You know what, let's just use 
box of friends on this room. I don't want to have to deal with these silkworms, and this the human popcorn is just going to keep spawning them if we can't kill them fast enough. So might as well nip the problem in the bud and handle it this suit as quickly as possible. So. Great. Oh, managed to dodge out of the way. Oh, fuck. Not good. But we will look in here, and we got Cricket's body, so we got all the splash damage. I was hoping to maybe get another mushroom item, that would've been nice, but we do got a lot of splash damage, so that's interesting. If we do get some sort of tier effect, then we will be doing an insane amount of damage. And look at that, it's just spreading all over the place, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, also, the fact that we actually... Cricket's body is a tier up and also gives us splash damage. It also increases the size of our tiers. Believe, like, funny enough. So, it does make it a little easier to fight enemies. But that's pretty good. I'm trying to look at the positive things that are going on in this run because I don't necessarily feel like we've been given too, too much to work with. I mean, we were given magic mush and a decent amount of damage. It's just that... Once you, I'm, I have a bit of highway blindness based off of our last run, just because we had so many good items. Ooh, and I, that bad bit of damage, I was done. Balls of Steel, yes. Okay. But yeah, we're 15 minutes in. We should, if we wanted to be on boss rush, we probably should have been on, like, the depths. Or maybe even beginning our dank depths aspects. But doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Fallen! This is an ounce. This is definitely an ounce. And the fact that we actually fought Krampus on the last floor means we're not going to fight him again if we do get a deal with the devil. And give us some damage. Give us some damage. Eh. Oh, buddy. We're going to get double brother Bobby. So good. <sighs> Disappointed. Let's go down. Take a sip of the water. Okay, we're on Dank Depths 1. And I'm not going to become despondent. I'm not going to become uh, defeatist with our prospects because even though things are looking a little dire, we're not completely bones. We have outs. We, we have ways to win the game, then we shouldn't feel bad about not being able to just steamroll everything. Every run doesn't have to be, like, off-the-wall insane, and or, like, off-the-wall zany. So, it's... If, uh, if the game's gonna be like this way, we, we can play. We gotta show the game that we're large and in charge. That's... We ain't no little bitch, and this is not how we go down. Okay, well, the bad bit of damage against the dips. Okay. Okay. So, ignoring the dip damage, we should just move on. Okay. Yeah, we're actually doing a large amount of damage, like, large amount of AoE damage, because of the Parasite and Cricket's body, so that's super, super nice. I do think that's probably one of the benefits of this particular run. Hopefully something good. Nothing that I in, I want right now. Uh, we could play it, but I don't think that's getting good shop stuff is going to be the way that we win this run. Granted, some consumable gains would be very nice, and if we get a key, I would definitely consider going to the shop. Because I know we didn't go to the shop on the last floor, but that was mostly due to the fact that we didn't have a key. And we have a large amount of money now, so that should be... Yeah, the fact that we got like a dime. Effectively got a dime right there is good. Okay, let us... I just feel like we should use that and hurry up and 
finish this room before we take any dumb damage. Because the, da the dumb damage potential is definitely there. Okay. Moving around. You're not going to get me, little buddies. And the fact that we got a battery is actually super nice. That means I don't have to feel too bad about using um, Box of Friends on this room. Come on. There we go. Managed to get out of there, and we did get some bombs, so we need to. We can potentially blow up the fires and check if we get any spirit hearts. Hopefully we do, and we didn't. We striked out on that one, so that's fine. And we do still have petrified poop, so we are getting a good amount of consumables from these poops. The fact that we don't have a key is kind of a piss off. Um, but the question comes into, if we get a key, then which one would you use? It seems like we would get more of a benefit of going to the shop. Unfortunately, as much as I would like to go to the item room, because the item room items have more of a potential to skyrocket us to dank potential. But at the end of the day, it's about making the smart decision, not the... Not the right one? I mean, the right decision could be the smart decision. I don't know. You can make a dumb play, and it could work out in your favor. But is it really the right decision? I I don't know. Okay. Well, that was stupid. Kind of just like, hey, let's just stand right here and get... We got the whole deer in the headlights sort of look going on right now. Okay. I hold my breath right there for a second because I wasn't sure if we're actually going to hit him. You're not going to hit me like that. Key? Yes! Double key. So, this is pretty interesting. That means we actually can go to both the shop and the item room. So, we are going to do both. And it's probably good that we got double items. So, we do have to pick this up because we haven't picked it up yet. And I do think we donate. Yeah, we will donate. Just was ourselves behind here. And at least we donated as much as we possibly could have. Um, we do have some... Oh, Daddy Long Legs. That's so good. We do have some Red Hearts back there. And we are carrying a Temperance card. So what we could possibly do is... We go back, get some of the hearts that we have, and just start, like, seeing if we could probably get a blood bag. Oh, yes, we did. We unlock blood bag, at least. So it has a chance of paying out. So maybe we can get a blood bag. Alright, game. Yeah, I, I, I believe in you. I believe that you want me to win this run because you are a benevolent creature and you love me? Please, <laughs> please let me win. I want to have my. I want to have more than a ten streak. I want to have a lot of in streak. <sighs> but we gotta earn it. We gotta earn it. And okay, we will run all the way back and see if we can actually get some more red hearts from here. According to the map, it is straight down. And there is... Hmm. We'll fight the boss, and then... Actually, we're on... Yeah, we're on Dig Them's one. So we'll fight the boss, and then after that, we'll decide actually whether or not we want to go back and do some plays on the Temperance. I'm thinking not, because I'm lazy, but I don't know. I might decide to play it later on. There aren't any Tinted Rocks. No, oh, that's a little unfortunate. I wonder, do we actually get... Um, double Daddy Long Legs? We do! Well, that's cool. I mean, technically, he, I mean, he is a familiar, so I guess I'm not, I shouldn't be too surprised. What? What? Are you kidding me? Something good? No. We got caffeine pill. Ooh. That's a little dicey. 
I don't think we want to go back and play. Our HP is way too low, and I don't feel comfortable enough doing that. Oh, Skype messages. Let's hurry up and click that out, and... Quits for right now. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I probably should have closed that out before I started recording. And don't take dumb damage like that. Don't take dumb damage like that. Alright. So, this is one of those tough times when the... What tough? Just because times are tough doesn't mean you have to stop trying. I don't... I am not going to give up. I believe that we will be good enough to actually make it and win this run. I believe in myself. Okay. Now that we have a positive mindset on this, I need to be able to parse out how we actually make that happen. Because just because I say something doesn't necessarily mean that it'll actually happen. Alright. So, make sure we dodge around those. Kill these guys. Make sure we don't get hit on the way back. And we managed to get out of there. Sweet. Okay. We just really need some keys to drop on this particular floor. And the spirit hearts are nice. And we, yeah, we don't want to go there yet. Yeah, the fact that Daddy Longlegs is just going around and, like, just stomping on stuff for us makes it so that sometimes enemies just die before we even fight them. Sometimes. Unless they're not moving too quickly. Okay. Well, that makes it almost impossible for us to actually get those. And I do think we just blow these up, unfortunately. I don't feel comfortable playing them right now, and I think Pinky Eye will probably do us a little better than Petrified Poop at this point in the game. Um, Petrified Poop is one of those good early trinkets, but it's as, as the game goes on and on, you're finding less and less poops. So I think it's a smart decision for us to go ahead and switch it. Alright, at least we're getting some... Yeah, and the, because we're fighting a lot of enemies like the Zombros, uh, the pink, the po the poison is doing a good amount of work because as long as we tag them with a poison shot just like that, then it makes it so that it's easier for Daddy Longlegs or whatever random shots we have coming out to do a good amount of damage to them. Okay, it's unfortunate that our donation machine broke so early because we have a lot of money, and I do think we probably should actually, um. Blow up some of these skulls because we can do we can gain back a lot of the hearts that we lost off of these random bits of dumb damage. But I think we should take advantage of that. And we did get a black heart, so that's cool. Balls of steel, and we get a world card, so that's good. Um, we probably want to pick up spider mod mostly because there's really no benefit to not doing that. What's this pill? Bombs are key. Hmm. Will keys really benefit us super, super much, like, later on to the game? I don't necessarily think so. So, I will stick with the Empress right now. And I do probably want to do a full clear um, of this floor. And with the fact that we actually got a golden key, it makes it even more um, appealing for us to actually go around and do our due diligence. So, we shall do just that. Yeah, spider mod's nice, because of the little passive stat effects that he can give. Gertie could be really big, I mean, Gluttony could be really big for us, because we might actually get some HP, like a less than three. And we didn't do it this, we didn't get it this time, so that sucks. But we are, pro we are definitely in a better position than we were earlier. Okay. Let's see. Finish that up. Got that. And let's just work our way around and let's get into our item room. Oh, baby. Proptosis. 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 Yes, 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 yes. 
Proptosis is just a, big, a pretty good damage upgrade all around just a good item. So I feel very happy that I was able to pick that up. Um, but doesn't necessarily mean that we're out of the woods just yet. It means we are in a better position to not get completely boned. And again, if we're doing our due diligence, I do think it's probably important for us to go around and blow up some of the skulls. We got a Yera. Hmm. Interesting. I'll stick with that because the potential to actually get something good out of it is there. Well, it's a lot higher. Unfortunately, we only got those, that one. Moon card. If this is a, a joker card. Two of diamonds. Shoot. Not bad, but not amazing. Um, if we had like a uh, money equals power, then that would benefit us a lot. I, so we are going to pop this right now. And we are just doing very, very well. As long like the box of friends just allows us to get so much benefit. And we have a lot of HP right now. We will pick up both of them because Whore Babylon will trigger once we actually get down to um, all spirit hearts. So it's a little dicey, but I do think this is probably the best play that we have. And we have a lot of damage right now, and we should just go down to the next floor. All right, we're going down. Let me take a sip of my water again. Uh, okay. So we're on the Scarred Boom 1. Um, let's take a look down here. We probably might want to... I think we do want to do that. But we probably want to wait until we actually get um, a charge on our box of friends. So let's go back there and do that. Yeah, we're not really going to be doing too much with our um, with all the keys that we have because we're not going down to the chest. So taking advantage of all the little openings that we have, or t trying to find a seam in this run, is something that we should we definitely want to be doing. Okay, so we got that, and we got a battery charge. That's fine. Let's go over here and take a look. When it comes to going into the womb, it doesn't... The thing that gets me is it, it's not necessarily the best... Sometimes it's not the best idea to do complete clears of the entire floor just because the potential be to take dumb damage is there. Like, and it's a lot more punishing if you catch my drift. But sometimes you can get something like that where you get a payout and you get more consumables. And that sort of deal. I do think we should probably take a look through here. And we did get a payout. So. It's a little dicey, again. To actually try to take a look. Into this, into the curse rooms like that. But I felt like we had enough disposable HP. Right now that a, we were justified in doing so. Okay. So. Tinted rock right here. Let's pick that up. Getting a little better at noticing the tinted rocks. And there's another one over there. Sweet. We only got bombs and, key and bombs and keys, so that's but that's fine. We're not gonna be using too much of our keys again, because nowhere to spend it on. If we get run into a golden chest, we're definitely gonna be wanting to pick that up. I don't recall if we actually got Guppy's tail on this run. I doubt it. It was probably the last one. Okay, pop up, pop up, I need you to pop up. Okay. We are moving on that way. Come on. Pop up. You're such a dick. Sweet. Thank you, Daddy Long Lakes. You were like the probably the main reason why we were winning this run. I would say at least. All right, no tinted rock there. Shit. All right, at least we got Gambi to pay out on that one. No tinted rock there. We probably want to blow him up so that we actually have a better chance. We might. I don't know if it's only with beggars. I don't. Or, I don't know if this Three Skull Montes actually contributes to whether or not we actually get a de increased deal with the devil blowing him up. 
But let's go ahead and do that. All right, Skolex, you're gonna go dirt tasting very soon, hopefully. Okay. There's just so much stuff going on. Unfortunately, we did not get a deal with the devil on this floor, which kind of bums me out, but let's just go on to the next one. I don't think we're going to lose this one, because it just seems too good. And this look is definitely looking like wood number 11 is under, the, is under our belt right now. And that actually makes me feel pretty good. Just This is definitely going to be the best streak that I've had, like in Isaac ever. Even in vanilla, I think. Let's crack these open. Oh shoot, we actually didn't have a box of friends charge. But, you know, that's fine. We are obviously doing a ton of damage right now. Yeah, these guys stand no chance. Um, Trickle charge? Maybe? Let's stick with that. Actually, wait, no. There's no real point in doing that. Okay, the reason why I stuck with um, Pinky Eye is mostly because we're not going to actually be using Box of Friends very, very frugally because we don't have a real way of maintaining the charge. If we had something like a 9 volts and on top of that, maybe a battery, then I would definitely feel a lot better about just taking that with us. But at the end of the day... Pinky Eye has been serving us a little, like, a bit too well right now, so I don't feel too bad about doing that. Um, bombs are key pills, kind of pointless for us right now. So, the arrow is just one of those things that's, it's, uh, there's not, I'm trying to find a good use for it, but it's one of those things like, oh, it's so good, I don't want to use it. It reminds me of, like, one of those, like, like rare items that you find in games, you're just like, alright, I'll use it for this particular solution. Um, a good example is in Morrowind, there's this scroll that you can get that has a hundred lockpick. I think it's like something lock splitter. Yeah, in, in that game, I was just like, all right, we're never going to use this because it's so good. Like, oh, I could use it on this room, but all of it, there's like probably, object, uh, probably an objectively better use for it. So I never bothered using it. Yeah, let's just use that. And let's use the... We're probably never going to actually use a good... Find the good use for the Yara, so let's just not worry about it. I don't know if this is a Tinder Rock. I want to hope it is. It was. Oh, go figure. I just saw the X on there and made a guess. Alrighty. Pick those up and let's make our way out. Um, this way, most likely... No tinted rock. Hey, that was easy. Uh, we probably don't really want a game kid. Interesting. Oh yeah, we, there's no real, there's no reason for us to be here. Just pick that up for no apparent reason. Okay. Just dodge around like. This has probably become my mantra now, at least for Isaac, maybe Dark and probably for Dark Souls, I would say, is um, circle strafe and shoot. That is, that is the key to winning these games. All right, let's go, mom. Righty. Yeah, we're just doing so much damage right now. And the fact that we were double our DPS makes it even easier. Hopefully we actually get a deal with the devil. And we did! Yes! We can go down and fight Stan. So, that actually makes it a lot easier for us to get achievements unlocked. So let's go down and do it. We got Go Ahead Baby and the Quarter. Interesting. I had no idea the Quarter was some, one of those ones that you had to unlock. I thought they just like randomly spawned inside chests. I mean, like inside pots. Okay. Okay. So let's let Daddy Longlegs just take care of him. 
Sweet. Eh. Probably not the best pill, but it's not the worst pill we could have gotten. Yeah, we haven't been getting some pretty good runs going down to the shoal. Uh, runs that I would definitely feel comfortable and not, and not think that we're going to lose. So I'm pretty happy about that. And it makes it even easier for us to progressively get more and more achievements. Uh, might as well. Head to the Keeper. Oh, spoilers. Cool, we got Spirit Heart out of that. Okay, we're getting a lot of coins, but again, no real benefit for us to even be getting these coins. We'll pick them up because it's shiny, and I don't like shiny things. Alright, so yeah, we're deaf. I think that's a library. If I was a betting man, I would say that's a library. Let's go to the library. And we got a pickable aisle. I just want to stay with Box of Friends. I mean, why not, right? And I do think we're heading the right way. Come on. Oh gosh, I am not looking forward to doing the grind to actually get Bandage Girl and Meat Boy. That is going to take forever. But, I mean, I do plan on playing this game for a good while, so... Forever... Maybe far, but it's not... Com not going to be an eternity, right? I mean, that's what forever stands for. I, I'm tired. <laughs> Done a little bit... Of, a good amount of recording today, because I noticed that my Isaac backlog is not as... Expansive as I was like as I would like it to be <laughs> All right, all right fallen let's do this There we go Yeah, we're just completely destroying Satan that's pretty good Let's follow the chariot and let's get in Great, we unlocked Serpent's Kiss. Well, that was a pretty good run, and we're on an 11th streak, baby. Cool. Anyway, if you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe for, if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.